Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, The Stone Mandalorian. I'm The Stone Mando. Today, I got a 2024 reissue from a figure that came out in 2018. This is Clone Commander Fox. Anytime you've got a red clone, you know it's going to be badass, but this one's a little more special just because it's a reissue. It's a very sought-after figure. It's gotten, it's gotten kind of pricey on the aftermarket, and uh, there is some weathering on this figure, which we don't... We're actually starting to see that again in the line, to be honest, but it kind they got away from it for quite a while and there's even some weather on the weapons as well so always stoked to see some extra paint especially on these from these older figures but like i said that we have been uh, as some new releases have been coming on we have been getting a little bit more paint on some figures lately but there for a while it was uh getting kind of kind of scarce there but this is obviously uh commander fox from uh, revenge of the sith and he leads the Coruscant Guard, the or the Shock Troopers, as you might know, might know him as, aka. But this is an awesome looking figure, man. Like I said, anytime you got red on a clone, you know it's going to be badass. But he's also got the retooled uh, visor on his helmet, the Phase Two, like Cody, and he's also got a soft goods comma. So that's that's a plus. Comes with his uh, DC fifteen rifle and uh, the blasters as well. So pretty awesome. And like I said, this is a twenty eighteen reissue, but the box. Uh, funnily enough, the box actually says 2024, but when I got Rex in, his still said 2018. So that was interesting to me. If you know why that is, shoot me a link down below. I'm I'm curious as to why that is or why you might think it is. But uh, let me not ramble on too too long because like I got if you've watched my reviews before, you know I can I can kind of do that sometimes. But let's go ahead and get him out of the box. We'll take a closer look at the paint articulation and the sculpting. And I guess also just now seeing it also comes with the DC-15 carbine. And here is Commander Fox out of the box. And just, like I said, man, you got a red clone looking badass. You can't get any cooler. Uh, it's really dope. He comes with his, his uh, two, uh, I think, DC-15 blasters. I know that's the DC-15 carbine and the DC-15 rifle. I believe the blasters are along the same name as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this has got some nice weather on it, as you can see. A little bit of greenish brown splotches here and there on the helmet and the, the shin and the chest. It looks pretty good. It looks nice. It's... A little weird that of all the clones to have weather that it's Commander Fox, just him being leader of the course on guard, the Shark Troopers saw the least amount of action, obviously because they're stationed on Coruscant. But so it's a little weird to see the extra weathering, but um, you know, still looks badass though. I, I I'm not I'm not gonna complain. I would have liked to have seen a more uniform, clean look, because then you if you look at the Shock Troopers, they have the the twenty twenty Shock Trooper on um, the 2020 clone body, it has chipped paint, but it's super clean. There's no weathering on it at all. So it's just very, very weird. Uh, and like I said earlier, the soft goods comma is a uh, very, very cool feature. Gives it a little more of a real life look, I reckon. And I just love the two holsters as well. It looks badass. So that would be cool is to get uh, Commander Fox here. And it, honestly, every other general or commander or captain or clone in general to get on the 2023 clone body with the O-ring shoulder pads, they're bigger. Also, these are bigger than the 2020, normal 2020 Phase 1 or Phase 2. But the O-ring shoulder pads uh, with some floating knee pads and butterfly joints, that would be awesome to see on this figure. But, you know, still a badass looking figure for it to come from 2018. Uh, you do see those pins in the knees and the elbows, but that's no big deal to me. Still, still a pretty good looking figure, very clean paint. Like I said, a red clone trooper, you just, that's just badass, man. But let's uh, let's take a closer look. Starting off here with the accessories, and as I said earlier, there is uh, some paint on the weapons here, so that's very nice. And I actually miss them casting the weapons in this uh, flat, or like more black, solid black plastic instead of the sparkly gray they do now. And then with this silver dry brushing, it just changes everything, man. So very typical. We've seen this in the line before. DC-15 uh, rifle, I mean. Uh, I got the carbine here in his hand. DC-15 carbine here. Also some very nice paint as well. A lot, of, a lot of nice silver dry brushing. Got many, many DC-15s in your accessory box. And then the, the blaster pistol here. Very snug in the holster as well, might I add. And then here is the blaster pistols. No, no paint on the blaster pistols, but just a solid black. Very clean. He does have two of them. I'm not going to worry about taking the other one out. They're exactly the same. And it does fit very snug into the holster. 
and those aren't going anywhere at all. So I like the way that looks, looks very nice. And then now, finally what we've all been waiting for, well some of us, if you're a newer collector like myself, newer, newer-ish, been collecting about two years now, here's Commander Fox, man. And just a great looking figure all around. Uh, this is from 2018, as I stated earlier, so it is some dated articulation. As you can see, we have pins in the knees and the elbows, but there's still a lot of decent paint. You can see this weathering on his legs and on his shoulder pads and his chest, even a little bit on the back of his helmet here. Um, there is still some very nice sculpting, very decent paint. Not bad at all. But uh, let's go ahead and run through this articulation because it is a bit dated. There are no butterfly joints, as you can see, so... But you do get the 360 degree spin. Uh, arms can come up about, if you mess with the shoulder pad, you can get it to ride along the armor or over the armor. Kind of, you don't want to want to force it. Can't really, you might be able to push it past this, but this is about as far as I'm getting comfortable with before it starts buttoning up and see it already warped the, the plastic a little bit right there just from that little bit of, of pressure applied. But, he doesn't need to be in a dynamic pose. Would it be cooler? Yeah, but I'm just going to have him stand on my shelf. There is bicep swivel right here. Uh, double jointed elbow. So you can get below. Not, well, let me not push that either. You can get at 90. A little, maybe just about. The pins are, are nice, and you can get some decent articulation with these double joints, but the way that this, just the sculpt, just dated. You can see how it's kind of buttoned up with the elbow pad right here. Just wants to bunch up right there, and you don't want to you don't want to pressure that because it'll start to dent or dent the plastic or take the uh, dent the plastic or start to take the paint off. Uh, he can kick out in front of him a little a little decent ways. Not too bad. There's a little bit of kickback, about as far back as you're going to get. Uh, a little split here. That's about as far as you're going to get them. You can't get them, but yeah, that's pretty much it. There's thigh swivel on this figure. I am a fan of thigh swivel. we got double jointed knees, so you can get his calf to touch his hamstring just about, almost, but just same thing Same thing here with the elbow pad. You can get a lot of range with these double pin joints, but just hitting the sculpt of the knee pad there. And the, getting down to the ankles, there's rockers, of course, and then they can go down that far, and they can come up. A little amount too but and now we'll just take a closer look at the actual paint and sculpting and i love these these style phase two helmets man or even the phase ones with the visor over it just looks so badass got some nice little greenish brown weather in here on the chest and on the armor here's some scuff marks right in here that you can see get a little bit closer there we go oh got some nice scuff marks here on the arms some mud here. Yeah, strange choice to have uh, Commander Fox weathered. As I stated earlier, they just... Coruscant Guard didn't see a whole lot of action because they're stationed on Coruscant, so... Nice on the helmet there. Very clean, clean emblem right here. Very beautifully done. Super clean. Here's that soft goods comma. A little more mud here on the inside of the thigh. Nice red trim, very similar to Rex's, except for obviously his is blue. More clean paint here. Very nice belt. Typical belt, except for with the holsters, of course. Also some nice paint paint here. Nice weathering on the on the feet. None on the back. Well, there's a little bit on the back right here. Not too bad. But, yeah, not too bad. Very decent paint. For this to be a figure from 2018, man, it's... I almost forgot to look over head articulation. Not a whole lot to talk about. He can look down a fair amount. And he can look up a decent amount as well. But there's not really a whole lot of side to side. You can see that, that hinge right in here. So, you can get some decent head movement out of him. But yeah, just a very cool look. Very iconic design for the Phase 2 with the visor. And just a, I'm super pleased to have this figure and... Definitely did not want to pay $70, $80 plus dollars for this uh, about six, seven-year-old mold off the aftermarket. But cool figure, but not worth that kind of money. And now it's time for the side-by-side -side comparisons, motherfucker. Now, I actually have three of these shock troopers. And uh, as you can see, this one still has the pauldron on. So this would be your commander. 
This is your grunt, and then obviously uh, Captain. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, this would be your commander pretty much. And then this, obviously, this is Commander Fox, but uh, either way, this would be like your commander over the grunts. And I actually have a video uh, further down from a few months back on how to take the shoulder pads off and get this grunt. It's very simple. It's not hard at all. So if you want to go check that out, I'd really appreciate it. It's not hard to do. If I can do it, anybody can do it. But starting off with the side-by-side -side comparisons, as you can see, even on the camera and in person, uh, the reds are a lot different. The ones on these new older clones are definitely a lot brighter red, and this is a darker red that's on Fox, but that's just me nitpicking. It would be cooler if it was more uniform red, but this still looks badass together. Here on the right is Ahsoka's 332nd clone trooper, and on the left is the plane phase one. Here on the left, of course, is the episode two Attack of the Clones. Uh, now I'm saying Natalie Portman. <laughs> Uh, Pat Mayo Madala, and on the right is the Clone Wars Anakin Target exclusive. Here on the left is a Death Watch Trooper, a, a custom Death Watch Trooper that my buddy Hyperdrive Collections made for me and gifted it to me for free. So go check out his channel. He does awesome work. And on the right is Mace Windu, of course. And to end off the side by side comparisons for Commander Fox here, on the left is Commander Cody, the archive version. And on the right is captain rex man i freaking love 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 that figure love this figure i should say i own it now this looks awesome together though i just so badass man well y'all that wraps up this review for commander fox here and i'm just super stoked that hasbro has been doing these re-releases and uh, uh fuck you to those fucking scalpers uh, i i don't care i don't feel fucking bad it's supply and demand and hasbro's listening to the market and seeing the kind of money that they could be making and kudos to Hasbro for, for taking the step to do these re-releases because I just don't believe in the whole fucking scalper thing, man. I just, I do not want to pay 80 to 70, 70 to 80 dollars and or more for a six, seven year old mold for th this fee. It's just a little ridiculous, man. But for $25, uh, you know, I can't complain too much, man. Just like I said, very happy that Hasbro is doing these really re-releases. Shout out to y'all Hasbro. Um, all the way from 2018, I didn't start collecting until midway August of 2022. So I am a, like I said, a star, I've said this on my channel before. I'm a, I'm a, I've been a Star Wars fan my whole life. I don't remember a time in my life where there wasn't Star Wars and I didn't have it, me and my brother growing up. But as far as seriously collecting and Black Series goes, I've only been collecting for a, a little over two years now. But a uh, huge thank you for me being a, a, a somewhat of a newcomer collector. I am. Super stoked to finally have Fox on my shelf. He looks badass in my Clone Wars section or prequel section, I should call it. But I would definitely like to see this updated on the 2023 buck on the new clone body. Uh, it, it, it would just be sick, man. I love I love Rex. Rex is honestly, I, I was very surprised. I see what people say that that's their favorite figure in the line. But we are getting that updated Phase 1 Rex on the 2023 clone box. So that should be pretty awesome, man. But like I said, I'm super stoked to have, very elated to have this figure in my collection. Uh, it has me psyched as hell to be getting some of these older figures that are insane prices on the aftermarket. I really appreciate y'all tuning in to this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like and subscribe. May the force be with you.